This is my Tumblr compost. The last time I put kitchen waste was a few weeks ago, and I haven't turned it in for a while, because I've just started another container compost. Now, this has a smell issue. Hi, I'm Tommy from Beggy Papa's Garden. A few days ago, I remembered that I hadn't turned it over for two weeks, and I turned it in, but all the materials inside were stuck on the bottom of the chamber. I turned it upside down and hit the bottom, and the materials could mix. However, when I turned the tumbler, there was a terrible smell coming out from the compost. So, I opened the lid and checked the inside carefully. Then I found that there was too much wet and the kitchen scraps were rotten. That's because I had to fix this problem. I researched the solution on the internet. I found three big reasons why it becomes smelly. The first reason is lacking of oxygen. The decomposed process needs plenty of fresh air. A hundred microbiomes are working in the compost, and they can't keep active without oxygen. To give them fresh air, it's really important to turn the compost over regularly. I should turn it over every few days, even if I didn't put any food in. The second reason is too much moisture. They have to be an optimal moisture in the compost all the time. It's not too dry or wet. The balance of nitrogen and brown materials is well considered whenever putting in the material. The last time I put three bags of frozen kitchen scraps at one time, and I didn't dump any brown materials. I believe that this was the reason for the bad smell. That's why I put many egg cartons in it. The third reason is putting unsuitable materials like meat or dairy products. Those materials are likely to offense a bad smell and bring more unexpected insect or pest. I highly recommend it avoiding using those materials if you want to keep your compost in a nice condition. To be honest, I've never put any meat, fish, or daily product in any kind of composter. I'm not sure if my compost can be recovered from the rotten smell issue, but it's been five days since I put egg cartons and keep turning it over every day. As you can see, the moisture level isn't bad, and the smell is better than before. I'm going to put the brown materials and turn it over until it becomes a normal smell. Then I will start to put kitchen scraps again. What I learned this time is it's really important to turn over the compost regularly. And Tumblr compost is designed to do so easily. There is no reason I don't do this. And I should do it more often. I have used this compost for about two years. And some parts of metals are rusting. But still it's working well. The outside of the tumbler is getting dirty because the moisture from inside is dropping to the outside and some webs are here. Now, this is a good chance to clean it up. It looks like a brand new compost, isn't it? Now, I'm going to put the compost back in the tumbler with more brown materials. Today, 
I'm going to use this sugar cone mulch that I found in my garage. I'm going to put this and compost in alternately until everything has gone back. Then put the lid back on and turn it really well. From today, I'm going to turn to this tumbler every day for a couple of weeks until the smell issue is completely gone. Then I can put the new kitchen scraps in it again. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any suggestions and advice, please let me know in the comments below. I'm going to share my new experiences, my challenges, and my mistakes. If you'd support me, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And see you at the next video. Bye.